Good evening, and welcome to Otis Jerry's Creepypasta Crypt. In the mood for a tasty pasta to increase your adrenaline rush. Well, you've come to the right place. Pull up a chair, get some popcorn, put your feet up, and have a listen, if you dare. <laughs> Pass It On by Emma Fro, narrated by Otis Jiry. It's quite an interesting concept. For those little pass it on messages, I mean. Chain letters and people telling you to post this in five different comments or else you'll die tonight. Interesting indeed, but it lacks originality. It's the same story with each one. Pass it on or die. People pass it on, they go on living. Happy ending for everyone. But what if there were a little twist? Let's say that there's a photo out there. It's not one of those can't-find-it-anywhere-else type of pictures. It's actually really easy to find. You just use your chosen search engine and type in black and white photo of twins. You should receive a variety of different black and white photos of twins. But let me help you and tell you what to look for. You're looking for the picture of two twin girls. They're wearing black dresses and white headbands. The twin on the left has a straight face, while the one on the right is smiling. Found it? Good. Now, as you can see, there's nothing particularly unnerving about this photo. It may be a little creepy, but other than that, it looks as normal as any other picture you've ever come across. Now, here's the twist. If you do pass it on, you die. Now, I know most of you would leave the picture be, but let me elaborate what happens when you don't pass this picture on to someone else. If you leave it alone after seeing it, you'll have nightmares. I know, it doesn't sound as bad compared to the alternative, but trust me, it gets worse. It will start with something simple. You'll see the twins standing side by side in the darkness. The twin on the left will leave, and you'll be left alone with the smiling twin. And just before you wake up, she'll whisper, Pass it on! And her smile widens ever so slightly. I know, doesn't sound like much of a nightmare. The first of many is more subtle. But with each new nightmare, things change. Gradually, she gets closer and closer to you, while her smile widens to impossible lengths. You can't help but feel greatly disturbed and unsafe. You try to wake yourself up. You try to move, but nothing works. You're trapped. She'll bring out various instruments, a knife, chains, gasoline, and matches, many devices to make you feel uneasy. You panic. You can't help but think of all the horrible things this twisted, sadistic child has in store for you. And does she ever have some horrible things in store for you? Let's take a moment to think about the possibilities. And what do you think she'll do to you? Wrap the chains around your head and pull until your skull splits. Gouge out your eyes. Cut out your tongue. Slice off your ears. Burn you alive, knowing that you can't move. That and more, my dear. You take the term unimaginable torches too lightly until you fall asleep. If you think she'll lash you with chains, she'll do so after she's laid them in fire and struck railroad spikes in your back. If you think she'll burn you, she'll tear open your torso, pour gasoline into the wound, then light the match. You'll wake, screaming. Your body will remember the pain it's endured while you quiver in fear. Every time you wake up, you notice subtle differences about your body. A bruise here, a scratch there. But as each nightmare gradually gets worse, so do the marks that have been left behind. The scratches will become fresh, bloody scars before long. 
If you dreamt that you took a sledgehammer to the knee, you wake up and get out of bed only to have your knees buckle below you as pain surges through your kneecaps. All the while, her words still ringing in the back of your mind. You try to avoid sleep, but it's no use. The twins make their way into your reality. They're always there, at your home, your job, or at school. You would fight back if they weren't in the faces of your loved ones. You'll hide yourself away from everybody in an effort to avoid seeing those demonic children. It won't help you, though. You see them in that millisecond of darkness when you blink. You see them in reflections, your peripheral vision. You see them everywhere. You can't escape. You try suicide, but they won't let you. That shotgun that you've got hidden in the closet is useless. It seems to be missing its firing pin. The variety of cold and flu and pain medications won't help. You just can't seem to hold them down long enough for them to take effect. Soon enough, you won't be able to distinguish your dreams from reality. You'll wake from one torture only to be greeted with another. You've given the twins a new playmate, and do they ever like to play? Well, at least one does. While one plays with you, the other will stand there watching, not heeding your cries for help. She'll stand, chancing the words, pass it on, over and over again. There's no happy ending to be had. If you think otherwise, you're just as naive as those before you. So... Now that you've seen the picture and have heard about the rather grim future, what will you do? Leave the picture be and pray that this was just some twisted story? Or pass it on?